Hey what's up guys, it's Ryan here and today's video that I'm doing is going to be talking about dual monitors. Obviously anyone who does video editing or any kind of graphic arts, dual monitors is awesome. Because you can just, you know, you can have your work area and then you can have all your tools or anything, or reference material. So, you know, dual monitors is basically the way of the future. So, uh, I've been using dual monitors for a long time now. And one thing I've always wondered about dual monitors is how do the people get the one image to span across them and not get distorted. Now, if you use the traditional Windows um, uh, properties, if you click right here and you go to personalize, fortunately I'm on Vista or you know Windows 7 or whatever. Uh, if you just go to the desktop background and you do their settings, it always gets distorted. But uh, I did a little bit of research and I found out how I can get backgrounds obviously to stay as one image and I can distort it. Now my my monitors have different resolution. This one right here is at 1680 and this one over here is at 1280 so obviously the image would get distorted. Now some people I've done before is I've taken a screenshot of the whole desktop and just edited my picture in there. But I found a program that's free that you can adjust it for both monitors together and you can even run two different monitors together. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you where the link is, some of the pictures, and how some of them look. Alright, now you can see, uh, it's. I'll zoom in here so you can see. Now it's not any crappy quality or anything like that, it's a decent picture, it's a really good picture. I actually downloaded this one at a really high resolution so it would work. And I actually themed my desktop so it would have turquoise bars so it would kind of match along with Pandora. So I'm going to show you what a couple of the backgrounds here. Um, make sure I'm not blocking the screen here. All right. Um, uh, the program that I use is called Display Fusion, and I'll have a link in the sidebar. And basically, you have your two monitors. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm just going to be setting up the one. Okay. So I go to center. This is the original size, the image here. But I wanted to fill it up because I don't like having the black bars along the side. So if I can select you know another image so say if I take this one right here it cuts off at the end so I'm going to tell it to fill the screen and keep the aspect ratio okay and so now it spans across the whole screen and you've got the lines match up from monitor to monitor even though they're different sizes now if I wanted to do different monitors I would bring it up as well and I would just click use different one for each monitor now I'll just apply from whatever it has selected so there you go. Say if you wanted two different images, obviously it doesn't look great. And I personally like using the one. So uh, it, it's definitely cool being able to adjust both your monitors at the same time. So I'll, I'll put a link in the side that will have the, the information about the program, where you can get the program, as well as some cool backgrounds I found. Um, there's a bunch of different websites. I mean, you can also go to Google what I did my first one and type in dual screen screen savers. But um, it's, it's really cool because you can calibrate each ones to what you want and make sure the leveling and everything like that. And the one thing you have to make sure you do is when you go to uh, your uh, personalize and you go to desktop background, make sure you hit tile because that will make it a active. And then once it's active, then you can come over to uh, the display fusion here and pick what you want. So I'm just going to pull up a couple of... Uh, pictures that I have saved so you can kind of see what it looks like here. And then this one, I just totally got stoked from this one because I'm a big Xbox fan. Spans across, you know, makes me want to try to move the analog stick or something. Oh, here's another good thing to tell you about. Okay, so say if I take one like this Transformers one here. This is for dual screens. Obviously, they're supposed to be centered up. Now, if you upgrade to the Pro version, it gives you adjustment where you can move the images over adjusting it and then have it fill it from there. But that, for me, that's not really a big of a deal, so I don't need to upgrade to the Pro. And plus, the basic one is free. I could always take something like this into Photoshop and tweak it myself. But for me, personally, it doesn't bother me that much. Obviously, there's some images that are made for certain resolutions that when you try to line them up, they're like, okay, this is exactly where it has to go. So, let's see what other ones I have. Obviously, I think I had this one up. Yeah, this is a Neytiri. Obviously, I think everybody's seen this picture. It's not great quality, because I'm stretching it. 
Also, a really good thing that you can do with this program is, let me select, all right, this Predator picture I found is was made for one monitor, and obviously I'm doing it on two, so we'll center it. But this is basically the width of this, and so I don't like with the black sides. And you can do different setups, like you can stretch it, which obviously looks terrible because it's all squashed. I mean, it's not super bad. But what I would want to do for this one is I would want to enlarge it and do the aspect ratio the same. So there you go. It's on both screens. Which I personally think that's kind of cool. And obviously, I've been playing the Alien vs. Predator game, so I'm kind of stoked about that. Um, let's see what other ones I got here. It's kind of a cool one. Um, this one's kind of a fun one here. It's especially cool because it goes, you know, on both screens, which now you can control it. And you can see right here that the image doesn't jump or move because this program basically you can set up so it doesn't doesn't distort it or jump like some monitors do. This one was pretty fun too. And this one I have to stretch so it fills the whole screen. But Mario Brothers 2, Lily Jovovich is extremely hot so... Uh, I definitely got one that I can uh, put no nudity so YouTube can't stop it but obviously it's kind of nice the whole screen um, but uh, that's not as good quality as some of the other ones so it doesn't look as good but it's her so it looks good all the time then you have your Eon Flux which is kind of cool on the dual monitors um, see I also have a lot of Avatar ones which I can probably pull those up for you but if you've seen some of the Avatar pictures, you've probably seen all of them. Oh, this is also kind of a cool one I found. I don't remember where I found this one, but it's probably in one of the links I posted. And obviously this one you'd probably want to move to the side, but you'd have to do that in Pro. So let me pull up a couple of the uh, cool Avatar ones I got. This is a really cool one I found. It was the whole scenery scape, and on the dual monitors I think it looks really cool. Now all these Avatar ones that I'm loading up are really high quality that I got from a website, which I'll, I'll post the link. So if you like these Avatar pictures, you can go ahead and click that and get those from them. Because you can't just use anyone, because if you use one that isn't high quality, it just distorts it like crazy. Uh, some more Avatar ones. I'm a, obviously a big fan of Avatar. I won't sit here and do, you know, 20 minutes of Avatar ones because you guys really don't watch it, but I'll do a couple of them because the Avatar ones really do look really cool on it. The program is really, really easy to understand. If you've used it or, you know, the regular uh, Windows one, you can use it and it won't be a problem. Um, this is also one I really like too. This is a good one to show you what it can do here. Is See that one right there? I like the other one better because it didn't cut through his face as much. The original setup for this one is right there. So it cuts off the end and I don't like that. And if you stretch it, it looks extremely goofy. This is kind of the crap that you used to get when you used the Windows one, which nobody likes that. No one wants, you know, Nate Terry's head squashed. Um, so then you can go to your different setting. Um, this is if you want it to apply on both of them and not crop. I mean, it's good proportions, but I don't like the end, so... You can go like this, but it cuts a little bit off of her head and bottom, but it fills the screens, and the aspect ratio is correct. And it still has tile and stuff like that. Oh, another feature is down here is you can set stuff to grayscale and sepia tone right off the bat from this program. If you want, you can change your color. Uh, here's where the image position is, but that's only for Pro. But, you know, I really like rocking the one monitor, uh, or the one image for both monitors. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my original background back because I like looking at Neytiri, so. And there's Neytiri back. So, if you're running dual monitors, uh, that's how you can get your picture not to be distorted and match up on both sides when you're running different resolution. That's definitely how you guys can work on your backgrounds. Now, I know I definitely saved the install for this because I'll always have dual monitors after using this. And I'll probably be putting dual monitors on my other computer as well. But uh, it's definitely one of the coolest programs I have. The one bad thing about having it is I want to change my background like every 10 minutes now. So um, that's today's uh, video. If you guys have dual monitors and you try this program, if you find some cool backgrounds, definitely uh, 
comment and let me know. If you've been watching Mr. Eye Guy, rate, comment, subscribe.